Good day, everyone. Welcome to our Imaginables YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us for this special unboxing of the Ultimaker Sketch Sprint. The Sketch Sprint brings hands-on learning to Australian classrooms with fast print speeds, intuitive features, and strong educator support, making it easy to integrate 3D printing into lessons. Students can bring their ideas to life while developing essential future skills. Let's dive in and start unboxing. Right on top, we have a roll of PLA orange filament We also have an accessory box, which includes one power cable, a set of Allen keys, a pair of side cutters, be careful they're very sharp, great for snipping the ends of printing filaments, a screwdriver, grease for maintenance, a nozzle unclogging tool, handy if the filament ever gets stuck in the nozzle. The printer comes wrapped in a durable plastic cover with built-in handles, making it easier to lift out of the box. However, please take care when lifting, as the printer is quite heavy. For safety, it's best to ask for assistance when placing it onto a suitable table. Attached to the top of the printer, you'll find a uh, plastic envelope containing warranty information, a quick start guide, and details on how to register your new printer. We'll remove the plastic coverings and upon opening the top of the printer, you'll find another roll of PLA filament, this time in blue. Next, you'll need to remove the protective packaging from inside the printer. You will also find another power cable. Please make sure to use the correct Australian power cable supplied with your 3D printer. Discard any non-Australian power cables. So after unboxing the printer, here's what we've got. A quick start guide, a sketch sprint safety and warranty information booklet, an activation code to access the MakerBot online learning website, an information card on how to register your new printer, orange PLA filament, blue PLA filament, a power cable, and an accessory box with various tools. Before powering up your new printer, it's important to grab a two millimeter hex key from your accessory box. We'll need this to remove the four screws holding down the printer's print bed, which are in place to prevent the bed from moving during shipping. Here are the locations of the four screws you need to release. Let's go ahead and power up this brand new printer. First, let's remove the plastic film from the touchscreen. Ah, always so satisfying. Upon startup, the printer prompts you to install the latest firmware, which can be done by downloading it onto a USB drive. You can also scan the QR code displayed on the screen to access the firmware download page. Alternatively, you can manually enter your network credentials as we're doing here with options to connect via Wi-Fi or Ethernet.
Once the latest firmware is installed, the printer will reboot and display the initializing logo. You will then be prompted to select your desired language. The printer will also remind you to remove the screws from the build plate, which we have already done earlier. Next, the printer will prompt you to assign a unique name. This helps with identification, especially if you have multiple printers in the classroom. Uh, you can also set a unique pin to prevent unauthorized access to the printer. Before you start printing, the printer will uh, perform automatic calibrations to prepare for your first print. The sketch sprint will then go through a series of calibrations, which may take 15 to 20 minutes, so please be patient. First, it will perform a leveling test to calibrate its automated leveling sensors. Next, it will conduct a vibration test to measure and detect vibrational feedback during printing. It may sound like the printer is about to take off, but don't worry, that's perfectly normal. After the vibration test, the printer will perform a nozzle temperature calibration. Once all calibrations are complete, you will be prompted to load your material and start printing. Grab your roll of PLA filament. When opening a brand new roll, be sure to release the tip of the filament from the side. Always hold the tip to prevent the filament from unwinding and getting tangled. From your accessory box, grab the pair of side cutters and snip off the bent tip of the filament. Take the plastic cover off the side of the printer and begin to load your filament through the small insertion point above. Follow the on-screen prompts as you do this. Uh, the printer will prompt you to wait while it begins heating up the nozzle. You'll be able to see the end of the filament as it reaches the top of the print head. The printer will start automatically feeding in the material you've loaded and will purge it from the nozzle. Confirm that the material is flowing smoothly like this before proceeding to the next step. Congratulations! Your printer is now fully set up and ready for your first print. There are a couple of preloaded prints in the printer to get you started. We went ahead and printed this simple plastic scraper, which can be used to help remove prints from the bed. How exciting, our very first 3D print from our brand new 3D printer. Now, let me show you how to connect this printer to the cloud network. First, go to your printer screen and select Settings. Next, choose Network and scroll down to Digital Factory. This will generate a unique code for connecting to the Ultimaker cloud server. Next, log in to your Ultimaker account at digitalfactory.ultimaker.com. Navigate to My Printers, and in the top right corner, select Add Printer. A dialog box will appear to guide you through the process. Select MakerBot, then choose Sketch Sprint. Finally, enter the six-digit unique code that was displayed on your 3D printer. Congratulations! You've successfully connected your printer to the cloud. Uh, you can also share your printer with colleagues so they have access. It may take a minute to refresh, but once updated, this window will display your printer status, print history, and print queue. It also includes a maintenance schedule to help you keep track of when preventative maintenance is needed. Next, let's go ahead and register your new 3D printer. Follow the instructions on the registration card you received with your printer. Go to the Register Your Product webpage, then enter your email, select your printer, 
Enter your serial number, usually found on the box or behind the printer. Enter your purchase date. After this, the next page will ask for your first and last name, contact phone number, country and state. It will also ask you about your industry. Well done, you've successfully registered your new Ultimaker Sketch Sprint. Lastly, let me show you how to activate your MakerBot certification account. Grab the activation card and visit makerbot.com slash redeem. This will take you to a site called Further, an online learning platform specially designed for education. You'll be prompted to create an account, agree to the terms and conditions, select your school if it hasn't been created already, or you can proceed and create a new school. Next, enter the activation code from the physical card uh, to complete the process. Once activated, you'll see the current active license and options for various license plans. Moving forward, you'll be greeted by the main menu where you can see the classes registered to your account. The Getting Started class you see here is a basic introduction to the further platform and how to use it. The real content we're looking for is in the main dashboard. At the top, you'll find a tab labeled Library. Clicking this will open up all the available courses. You can browse the content and filter through courses relevant to you. Right now, we're focusing on everything under MakerBot Sketch Sprint. There's a wide range of courses, including design thinking and how to apply it to real-world problems in your learning environment. Courses generally include in-depth instructional videos to help guide you through your journey. They also offer printer-specific content, such as setting up your MakerBot Sketch Sprint. After completing a course, there are challenges and quizzes to test if you've been paying attention. And there you have it. That's the MakerBot Online Learning Certification in a nutshell. Uh, the content here will continue to expand, so be sure to check in for the latest updates. Beyond this, educators can also access Thingiverse Education, a platform filled with over 300 lesson plans, all curated and uploaded by educators like yourself. You can search for specific lesson plans categorized under Arts, Engineering, Geography, and more. Filter by grade level to find the most relevant content. Share your own lesson plans by publishing them for other educators to use, helping build a community through shared knowledge and experiences. Happy teaching and happy printing.